Hey there, so uh, I had a little bit of time, about an hour or so, to mess with after work, and so I decided to see if I can implement the Hyundai um, cart without paying the Hyundai price for having the hub motor be on the surface of a um, platform and then have the wheel attached to that platform. So basically, it would look something like that. The hub motor would be right around there. And as it rotated, it would rotate this entire um, disc, which would move the wheel up and down. Uh, I think they can move up and down like four inches. So I was like, okay, well, I can figure this out and do this with a slot right here. So this is a slot, and inside are uh, ball bearings. Let's see if I can remove some of this stuff so you can see what's going on here. Didn't pre pre do that like I normally do, um, but here. So you can see there, here's a ball bearing. It's another one back there somewhere. And what happens is, is as this rotates, here, this goes up and down about, uh, I think I clocked it at like three, three inches or so. So for the three inches of movement, a um, lot going on here. Servo, um, face mounted roller bearing, which is probably the most expensive thing that's on here. And the cheapest you can get this about 60 bucks, so that's already a non-starter. Bearing, bearing, bearings you can get uh, in bulk, but they're usually about three or four bucks each. Servo, uh, this servo probably about 15 bucks, and you don't have to do it this way. I just did it because it's cheapest um, for for kind of purposes. And down here, I've got that um, worm gear again wheel. So uh, up here is a kind of braking action. As this lifts up, no brake, and and as you move uh, in that direction, then you have um, you know, once it gets to the point that it wants to be at, it stops, it breaks, and holds it in that position. That way it doesn't slip back once you've moved the first time. So in, in essence, the, the wheel is the ground, the grounding portion, and this platform moves up and down. That would be connected to uh, this guy right here. All right, let's see it happening. And, and ultimately, I've already failed it, so we don't have to worry about implementing this solution but as you can see here you get a bit of rotation out of that I can I could have gone further but it's nonsensical given that it doesn't help your your case anymore um, so anyway rotate backwards you can see here a little bit of movement the bigger this disc is and this is physics the the more uh, movement I could have got out of this so if I double the size of this disc it would essentially give me more uh, in inches uh, of travel so you know and then the braking action would have to happen as well uh, so right now I think I have it um, braking and of course in code you would have to make sure this situation never happened where you have a you know break happening at the same time as you have uh, the travel upward so there you go so you can see there's a brake brake pad there and uh, all of that would have all worked to give us three inches or so and if I doubled the size of this would have gave us more but then as you as you increase the size of this um, you know you one you don't want it to really ever pass the end of travel here um, I mean you could this doesn't hurt anything but uh, yeah, so that this didn't work that well. Um, back to the the kind of linear actuation, which would work like a charm, and that's kind of uh, the way I would go to begin with if I were to try to implement this. Thanks. See ya.